Hey guys, welcome to my July 12th through July 18 update for the week. Um, I hope you guys had a good week. Uh, we did here uh, at the house. <laughs> um, last uh, update, I told you that I was not going to tell you what we got Chantel for her birthday because it was coming this week. So it is, and I will tell you all about it, just not yet. I will tell you in a little bit. First of all, we need to get through a few more days and I'll just wait. This is a uh, Shani's gift is something that happened on Wednesday, so I'm just going to make you wait just a little bit longer for that. So, um, last video also, um, I told you that Sunday, like the day flew by and we didn't have time for anything, so I didn't even do any yard work, but the thing is, is I think we can wait a couple weeks now. Um, it used to be that we had to go every single week because it was crazy. The grass was growing like nuts and all the flowers and everything was just sprouting up all over the place. But now that it's summertime, I'm learning that I think my grass is afraid to grow because it'll get burnt or something because we have, I was able to skip two weeks before I had to go out and do yard work. So I guess like the main bulk of it's out. And just so you know, I have no no pictures this week of flowers or anything outside like that at all. I don't have any. <laughs> so let's see. Um, Monday, we went shopping at Costco. Um, you know from my last update that my stove died last week. And um, I usually make everything from scratch. So we had to go shopping and get a bunch of stuff that was pre-made. And for the record, my kids they thought it was bad. They don't really like it. <laughs> they like mom's cooking better, which I guess I can't complain about because, hey, that sounds pretty nice to me. But um, yeah, so we, we went and bought a bunch of pre-made stuff and nobody likes it, <laughs> but we bought it and we had some of it. So that's what we did on Monday is we did a huge shopping trip. But um, while we were there, I actually got this folder for myself. Um, it is full of paper, obviously, because that's what it is. But it has these little binder pieces so that I can put all of my Sims garbage in. So I have, like, I finally have a little bit of organization. Yay! Because usually I have everything in a bunch of little pieces of paper all over my desk. And I cleaned it. And it's so nice to have it all in one spot because I, I have all these tiny little strips of paper. No joke. It was all over my desk. So now that I have... I have my little folder now, so it's all full of my Sim stuff, so I'm a little more organized. <laughs> and it's nice, it has little folder pieces for me. Um, speaking of Sim stuff, on Tuesday, um, The Sims 4 came out with the Spa Day game pack. Wicked awesome. Love it. Great pack, worth the money. Um, I ended up doing, I was going to do just one review video for everybody, but it ended up being three because there was so much content to cover. So it's a three-part series. So if you haven't seen it and you're interested in Sim stuff, go check it out. <laughs> if you're not interested in the Sim stuff, don't worry about it. No harm, no foul. But uh, yeah, today's kind of fun. Uh, it's a nice warm day. I have all the windows open. You can hear people doing yard work outside. All my minions are awake. We've been doing a little bit of cleaning. Uh, we do have company coming um, either later today or tomorrow. We're going to have kind of some fun stuff going on next week. So you're going to want to tune in next week as well, just so you know. Teasers. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Tuesday, aside from the Sim stuff, I, I have to throw this in here too because it was huge and momentous. You know how I just got finished telling you that we bought a bunch of pre-made stuff on Monday for dinners and my kids don't like it, but we did it anyways. Well, on Tuesday, after we had done all of our shopping, we were able to go back to Costco and we bought this glorious wherever I'm going to put it. This glorious stove is beautiful. <laughs> I love it. It's a double oven. If you can't tell, it has two. One is smaller up at the top and then it has the large one on the bottom. And I'm super excited because now if I do like Thanksgiving dinner or something else, I can literally do it all by myself with the double oven. It's going to be awesome. And it has lots and lots of settings on the top. I just, I love it. So I got a new stove. Yay! And for anybody who's into cooking, it's fabulous. I like it. We got a really good deal on it. It was on sale because it was sold at Costco anyways, but then it was on sale. And then we got it on sale a little bit more because it was the last one. It was the floor model. Otherwise, I don't think I could have afforded such a nice, a nice one. <laughs> it's a, a Maytag double oven, and I love it. It's great. We've been making dinners on it, and it's 
fabulous. So what we ended up doing, and I don't know if this was just because we got a hankering for ice cream again, <laughs> or if it was kind of like celebrating that we got our new stove, but we had um, banana splits again. So I do have a picture of banana splits. Om nom nom, they're really good. Um, we added like the two or three different flavors. There was chopped peanuts and, and everything all over again. So it was fabulous. So we did, we did our banana splits again. <laughs> and then I do have the news for Wednesday. Chantel and I went to pick up her birthday gift. She is 18 now, and this was her 13th birthday party uh, gift. So I will let her show what she got. So yeah, you might have to get up a little bit closer, but yep, turn the Which other way. Side? This side? Yeah, that there you go. Way. See, yay! You see right there? Oh, yes! Okay. We went and got her nose pierced. Yay! So Shan yeah. now has a nose ring. It's on the opposite side that mine is. And if you didn't know that I had one, you do now. <laughs> it's really tiny and it's here and I am not wearing it at the moment. But now my daughter ta -da. Ta -da, ta -da. has a nose ring. That's what she got for her 13th birthday, everybody. So yeah, it was exciting. <laughs> She's gotten her ears pierced, but this was a lot different than getting your ears pierced with a gun. Ka-ching, ka-ching. It was a little bit different. She, um, she was a champ. She stuck it out. She didn't know exactly what to expect, and I tried to explain it to her, but I don't know. Everybody has a different pain threshold and that kind of stuff, but I think it looks amazing on her, and she likes it. So that was the tiny human, if you heard her. <laughs> She's in the other room playing on the little game pad for the Wii U. <laughs> um, so on Thursday, as a family, well, Minus me, myself. I, I sat in here. I, I have a tendency not to join the family watching TV. But they all watched uh, the Lego movie. And like I said, I kind of hermited over here and I played my Sims and I watched because I can actually see the TV from here. So it's really handy. I have a hard time sitting and watching movies and not doing something at the same time. So that was really helpful. But for the first time now, I understand. Uh, Creepsy, if you're watching this video, I understand the whole everything is awesome I get it now I get that <laughs> so yes if you haven't seen the Lego movie it's actually kind of cute and it has some catchy music so yeah <laughs> yeah my husband says beware because yes it does get stuck in your head because we watch this and we keep singing it over and over again that's like the whole thing all, all my whole family that's all we're saying now <laughs> so on Friday a big thing for me happened on Friday, uh, as far as this channel, YouTube goes. I hit 100, that's probably backwards now, 100. <laughs> I hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much for everybody who supports my channel in any way, either it's my real life videos, my sim stuff, or just everything. Comments, liking subscribing, everything. I appreciate all of that. And I did put a compilation uh, video together. And so if you haven't seen that, you might want to. Um, I do some epic rapping at the beginning. And uh, it's a compilation, kind of a gag reel of the last six months of all of my recordings. I kind of like put a whole montage together. So it's funny, if nothing else, for a laugh. So if you're bored, <laughs> you might want to check it out because I've watched it a lot just because it makes me laugh and it's funny. So that's what happened for me on Friday. So I actually have a small picture right here. Um, Will took that of me. That is on my the day of my 100 subscribers. So I'm like super happy. So if you have never seen my desk, because you usually can't, because the screen's pointed away from my desk, that's a small look at my desk. That's what's on it. It's actually decently clean. And like I said, I had gotten my folder. So all my mishmash of papers and stuff has been picked up. So uh, yes, that's my desk. <laughs> So let's see, on Saturday, which was yesterday for me, we went on a really long bike ride and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, we got up, we got ready. Um, I think it was just myself, Will, Aria and her little co-pilot, and then uh, Kaden came along. The older two wanted to stay home and play with Legos, which is totally legit, that's fine. So we went on a bike ride and uh, we started up a hill and we went down a really long one which was super fun I think that I probably got up to I don't know in the 30 mile an hour range just flying down this hill and it was super fun 
we went through the canyon and then um, took a little detour through the park and we went through some of the neighborhoods and stuff and just kind of I don't know tooled around just because and I want to say that it was probably I'm not 100% but I'm thinking anywhere from five to eight miles is probably what we did and everything was going just swimmingly totally awesome uh, we were on the last I don't know last uh, mile or so and I ended up with a flat tire not just a little flat tire we're talking like I'm riding on my rims flat tire so unfortunately I had to stop and pull over on the side of the road and so my husband and Kaden and little Aria they all like pedaled as fast as they could to get home because they needed to come back and bring the uh, the van for me to come pick me up because um, I didn't want to ride on on my rim and, and ruin it. I spent a lot of money on the bike <laughs> and I didn't want to just go ahead and break it so soon so I waited for them and while I was waiting my dad showed up in his car so my dad got to play Superman. <laughs> He kind of took my husband's glory. My husband worked really hard to get home super fast so he could get home and get the car and come get me and rescue me, but my dad beat him. <laughs> so my dad uh, rescued me. Oh look, you can see homie's arm. You should wave, homie. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> There's homie. Um, so my dad rescued me and brought me home. <laughs> we still don't know what's wrong with the bike. Uh, we tried to pump up the tire and it's just not working so I think we have to take it apart we kind of have suspicions that the inner inner tube itself has like a tear or a hole in it or something I don't remember ever like hearing any noises or anything that would would let me know that it was even flat um, I noticed it just because it was starting to get harder for me to pedal and um, I was thinking gosh you know Either I'm really fatigued and it's time to go home, <laughs> like I've hit my max, it's done, or there's something wrong uh, and maybe there's a hill that I'm just not seeing because I kept switching my gears to make it easier, but it turns out it's just totally flat. So we have to dismantle it and figure out what is wrong. That was kind of a bum deal for us on Saturday, or at least for me, because I was having so much fun and we were on the last leg of home. Um, when that happened so the good news is I got through almost the entire bike ride and it was fun it was quite the workout and I enjoyed it so as soon as we get the bike fixed then I would like to go out again <laughs> because it was fun um, we had my mom and dad over last night for dinner I made a meatball stroganoff which was really really good and I think we have maybe leftovers for maybe one more person to eat it <laughs> but it was really really good so we had them come over for dinner and we just kind of hung out a little bit um so it was nice to see them but we needed to go get um supplies for dinner and i do have kind of a funny video because or not a video but a funny picture because when we were shopping for the supplies um i was wearing my superman shirt and it actually has a cape it's awesome but anyways i was wearing my superman shirt and we were looking for bike pumps and those kinds of things and i found this item it's a bike lock kind of thing and it's I don't know if you can see in the picture or not but it's labeled as kryptonite <laughs> and so I thought it was quite fitting that I was wearing my Superman shirt and so I had to hold on to the kryptonite <laughs> so there's a picture for you and I hope it gives you a laugh um, that's pretty much all I've got for you I think um, Oh, well, while we were shopping too, I got I have to share this with you too. So we bought these peanut butter, or they're Butterfinger peanut butter cups, and they're really not very good. They're Will's favorite candies. Those are like two of his favorite candies, and they put them together. But honestly, don't bother. They're not very good. I suggest if you want that flavor, go buy your peanut butter cups, and go buy your Butterfinger, and eat them at the same time. These are not good. <laughs> so that's all I've got going on. For this this last week this was your June what was it no not June it's July this was July 12th through July 18 and we do have some things coming up next week next week um, I'm not gonna tell you everything but I do have a dental appointment I'm actually really excited about a dental appointment which is really weird because anybody who knows me uh, previous um, you know that um, I have like a way irrational fear of dentists um, it's kind of dissipating. Um, I make my own appointments now and I actually show up to them. So I'm looking forward to going to my appointment uh, this week. Um, but we do have other things going on, which I'm not going to say. So you're just going to have to tune in and find out. 
So if you like this video, like it, give me the like, thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and you can stay up on the happenings of the Ruminap household. <laughs> so until next time, guys, take care. Bye.